hello and welcome everyone to another video so today we have update 2020.20.1 and uh, as usual let's find out what it means for autopilot what has changed and uh, what's getting better hopefully Now before we dive into the actual test, I have noticed in the past couple of updates that um, after you get an update, the car still downloads over 100 megabytes for some reason. So maybe it's some tweaking, um, I don't know, but uh, it's kind of peculiar that in the past couple of updates, um, yeah, it's mostly in the next day or so that it downloads even more after your uh, install, your update. But anyway, here we have the Hillcrest, where I'm interested in the downward section where it loses the lane markings on the left side. Last time it was giving only a little jiggle, let's see what it does now. Yeah, it goes a little bit to the side, starting to search for the center of that really wide lane at that point. But uh, yeah, nothing to be too worried about. Coming up on the S-curve. In the last update it was slowing down before the curve. Let's see if that sticks around in this update. Yep, it is slowing down. That's good. Staying within the lanes, slowing down a little bit more. Going a little bit too much to the outside of the lane there. I got the impression that it was a little bit better. Oh, this is better in centering in the lane. Um, I got the impression that the first part, it kept better within the lane. And then it went at the end of the first turn, it went to the outside of the lane. Now let's see what it does when I try to enter the highway. So I need to confirm a lane change. Okay, it is slowing down. Making the lane change, doesn't want to. Oh, I get the time out here. Because the car behind me was also cutting in. And here we have the automatic blinking again, even when I'm on the uh, rightmost lane of the highway. It thinks I'm still next to the highway or something, I don't know. But the reason why it, I got the uh, time out was the car behind me was uh, also moving into the highway and that uh, meant that the gap behind the car was not big enough for me to legally between quotes um, enter the highway so uh, yeah then uh, the car just refuses to do that because of the UN ECE R79 regulations now traffic is a little busy right now with a lot of trucks but um, Let's see how it handles this double exit. So here's the first part. Yep, doing well. And making a second adjustment again to uh, find the center of that lane. So that uh, still needs some work, but it's the same as the previous update. Now let's see how it takes the second update here, or the second exit, sorry. That was rather abruptly. Okay, that uh, was a little bit worse than the previous one. But uh, yeah, it still took it. Okay, so let's see if I can work with this truck to see if I go from the third lane to the second lane. If it still detects the truck thinking it's in the second lane and in the way of my lane change so next to the truck activating going no no it cancels it going it didn't display the truck this time but it still stopped the uh, movement it showed the red lanes thinking there was someone behind me 
when it wasn't and uh, the truck was in the two lanes over basically so that still needs to be fixed now let's try that again with another one so there is no car behind me I'm going to initiate when I'm next to that truck so here we go initiating trying to move trying to move yep and then it cancels a little bit and it still detects the truck in that second lane now let's quickly get off here and see what the double exit taking does on this exit so first part yeah again it's in two parts so it moves to the side and then it moves the second time whoa going straight on whoa, for way too long I got the impression that it was going to drive just straight on now let's see if it takes the second exit here I've had some uh, bad experiences with this on this update let's see what it does today not doing it not doing it yep yep okay so now it's working I got the feeling that it's kind of an on and off thing um, most of the time it works but sometimes it still freaks out and uh, I get a high curvature warning or uh, the car just uh, stops autopilot starts screaming at me with the red hands saying it disables autopilot um, so yeah that could still use some improvement but today it was doing it quite okay so it has started to rain a very tiny bit uh, it's not going to influence the results here but here we're coming up on the lane shift let's hope we can get a green light and we can continue straight on let's see nope light just turned red but that means I can continue on autopilot if I just slow down and go to zero okay looks good all right so I'm going to help it accelerate still on autopilot no truck parked here let's see what it does yep that's still good and it takes uh, um, my gut feeling is it's a little bit more distance from the right curb but yeah I still have no problem trusting it there in this version and this is our uh, final test where it loses the lane markings altogether last update it was hunting for the center of the road let's see if it stays on the right side here nope it is going to the center now what does it do here it still stays in the center now it goes to the right okay so let me slow down for the intersection all right oh going through the center in that uh, turn let me just leave some additional room here with the car in front of me and let's try to get through that uh, little lane shift at the end with the divider at uh, 30 kilometers an hour and see if that is any different now here we have another intersection but the mirror on the left side is blocked so I have to watch out here okay that's good now let's see what it does here with that divider last time I tested it it was really eh, butt clinching but yeah it did make it but still it is really narrow and I hardly trust it to scrape my wheels so um, yeah I wouldn't use it there 
in any normal circumstances. And here it just stays on the right side, which is good. All right, conclusion time. So what do I think about this update? Well, first of all, I think there is a small improvement in the S-curve where it keeps more to the center of the lane, but still in the end, it goes too much to the uh, outside of the turn. And that makes it too close to oncoming traffic to really trust it in that situation. Um, but overall, tiny improvement, I think, in keeping that center. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, as for the double exit, um, I've had some bad luck with uh, taking that. I've had some uh, high curvature warnings. I've had some uh, cases where I just refused to take it. It was just driving straight on. So it's an on and off thing. Um, from my experience in this situation, I get the feeling that about 75% of the time it actually works and 25% of the time it starts freaking out and creating potentially dangerous situations by going halfway through it and then cancelling uh, or just uh, disabling autopilot altogether. So it still needs some work to get that to work properly. Now what also needs work is of course um, the trucks. So when you're driving in the third lane, truck is in the first lane, and you want to move over it still thinks that the truck is in the second lane apparently either it's not high on the priority list for tesla or this is a difficult problem to solve for one reason or the other i don't know which one it is but i do know that this is something that really needs to be solved now the problem i had uh, with entering the highway i explained already that was because of un ece regulations um, for which I have a very tiny update, uh, and that is that talks are still ongoing. No real uh, decisions have been made yet, but there is a talk about conditional uh, hands-on steering wheel uh, timeouts. So right now that's set at 15 seconds. There is a talk about reducing that to 12 seconds, but conditionally. So that means that if uh, Tesla, for example, can prove that they are safe for a longer period, then will, they will be allowed or they might be allowed to get hands off for a longer period. Uh, but for stocks only, September is the next official meeting, so only then will we know uh, what it will mean practically and whether the other uh, decisions will be approved uh, or the other suggestions will it be approved with the increased lateral acceleration. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Overall, uh, a standard update, only minor things that changed, nothing really uh, out of the ordinary. But again, it's uh, not taking anything away either, so that's definitely good. And as usual, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.